Hi and welcome back to this week's episode of We Know Melbourne. We are back in the Cocoon Bar. David, take it away. So this week we've got the Urban Spaces Exhibition, which is at the Step Gallery in, at 62 Ligon Street, which is just outside of the CBD. This uh, unique exhibition focuses on the interpretation of urban space in media. It explores the notion of urbanity and the ever-changing values associated with urban living in the following forms painting, photography, glass, sculpture, and ceramics. And this is a free exhibition and it's on from now until the 27th of August. Matthew. Awesome. So I've got the Melbourne Cheese Show. So for all you cheese lovers, on Sunday, Saturday, sorry, the 25th of August between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., make your way down to Ormond Hall, which is only about a 15 minute tram ride. Your, your uh, concierge can tell you how to get there. The annual Australian Specialty Cheese Show is its official name. And it's a, it's a celebration of all things cheese. So basically, cheese lovers have the chance to uh, sample some of Australia's best cheeses, uh, meet the cheesemakers, and learn about the cheesemaking process, which I'm sure would be very interesting. Uh, it's only $15 to get into. David. So next on my list is one that Matt's definitely going to love. It's the Imperial Russian Ballet Company presenting Sleeping Beauty. I think that was one of your favourite movies as a child, Matt. Cinderella was, but Sleeping Beauty was my second. <laughs> close, favorite. very close. Very second. close. Well, that's being performed this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Her Majesty's Theatre. Tickets are uh, range from sixty to one hundred dollars, and you can buy tickets online at www.ticketech.com.au. Thank you. Fantastic. So I'm going to go with uh, something at Fed Square. It's a classic car showcase. Uh, every Sunday of every month, basically, a motor club get together of different types of vehicles and they put them on display. This month is going to be the classic car showcase, so it's bound to be a good one. Basically, between 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m., obviously, the event is free. Make your way down to Federation Square. It's only five minutes. David, excellent. Well, this is the big one for this week. It's the Melbourne Writers' Festival starting on a Thursday until the 2nd of September. Now, it's uh, held at various locations such as the Wheeler Centre, the BMW Edge at Federation Square and at the Melbourne Town Hall. Now, it provides an opportunity for Melbourne's community of readers and writers to grow and prosper through an array of mediums including entertaining discussions, debates, readings, film screenings, interviews, literary banquets, and many, many more it's things huge. going on there. It's yeah. huge. Um, now, you can visit the site for more information at www.mwf.com.au. Matthew, what is your pick of the week this week? Uh, my pick of the week is Temporal Brewery. It's just off Ligon Street, so only about a 15, 20 minute tram ride. Uh, all the brew, all the beers, rather, are brewed on site, and they've got eight of their most popular on tap, and it's, uh, it's complemented by a fantastic bar menu. Excellent. Well, that's all we've got for you this week. Remember to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Fantastic. We know Melbourne.